Mr. Militich, it has been a night of fights so far. We're only halfway through. Opener, Nick Guldner versus Tanner Collins. Surpriser for me, very competitive fight. At the end of the day, it was Tanner Collins striking that got it done. Landed a lot of right hands in that one, a plethora. A plethora indeed. Then we went to Kenny Thomas. Taylor Fleetwood came in with the karate style and then had a very, very odd submission that I don't think I've ever seen in my life. The 007 scissor <laughs> and then the uh, shoulder lock. Absolutely. It was a very fun fight. Gavin Vervelde, Santonio Jackson, all three rounds, competitive fight. Gavin again came across with the better striking and a little bit better on the ground as well. Yeah, Vervelde a little more polished, definitely. And then Jeffrey Tooley putting on an absolute clinic against Carter Stone. Really shades of greatness where you want to see your fighter going when he's moving in that professional direction. You know, and Peoria Athletic Athletic Club, you know, uh, Ryan Blackerby is an incredible coach. Been at this for a long time, and it's showing in his athletes. Absolutely, and then we just saw the ladies get it done. Jaya steps in, gets her first victory in her second fight. Very excited. Yeah, and uh, Claire Schneckloth, you know, another loss for her. Local girl, everybody still loves her. Absolutely. And then, guys, we've got the main card. Want to talk about the co-main just for a second. J.J. Redman, Bryn Heathcock. I expect a brawl. Bryn doesn't come not to fight a game guy, no matter who steps in there with him. Redman, a guy that hasn't fought for quite a while, right? I mean, how long has it been? Almost two years, I think it was? or A year and a half, a two year years half. for okay. him, yes. So we'll see if he has any ring rust in that. Yeah. That's really going to tell us a lot. And then we've got Preston LaGrange coming off a less than one minute KO right in this arena here versus Miles Bryant, who hasn't been able to catch a fight in his last five. He hasn't fought in almost a year. Also very exciting stuff. A lot stuff. of people backing out on Bryant in those matchups. So he's very excited to finally have a fight. And I'm excited for the second half of the final night of Caged Aggression 37, Past the Glory. We'll be back after this.